This is a pictorial history from my archives of Emily T. Stewart, Emily Trent Stewart. This is an ad lib narration, so don't expect too much from it. The pictures are originally produced for an album. So there are 50 pictures that also appear in an album. Emily's first baby picture. I don't know, she's probably about uh, three months old at this point. A little older baby picture, perhaps six months. Spring of 1925, this is when they lived in Westmoreland County, I mean Westmoreland of Huntington, West Virginia. That's Emily, Tom, and Mary Ellen, I suppose, with their dad. 1927, that's Emily, Mary Ellen, and Tom. This picture was copied from a church panoramic shot. That's Mr. Trent and Tom way up in the top, and uh, Beulah Trent and Emily Trent in front of her. A closer shot of Emily in her best Sunday meeting clothes. April 1928, that's Emily Beulah Trent, and I think the woman is Mr. Trent's mother. Emily in 1924. Nineteen thirty eight with Ruth, Jean, and Elizabeth. A car called Geraldine, Emily's pride and joy. Off to college on a winter day. Here now are a few pictures of Emily as a young woman. I used to carry this particular picture in my wallet. Here is Emily, freckles and all. She was an accomplished pianist and organist. She played in church in Princeton Baptist Church. We spent many Sundays traveling around southern West Virginia and into Virginia. This Mountain Lake, Virginia was one of our favorite spots to visit. June the 7th, 1942, the wedding party was mostly Trent's and Beckett's. The lovely bride and the skinny groom. June 11th, 1942, Mammoth Cave, Kentucky. On our wedding trip, we visited many sites in Kentucky. The Navy Wife, Corpus Christi, Texas.
1944, Tommy Stewart, three weeks old, at Corpus Christi, Texas. Time out to see some of the Texas countryside. We moved to Denver after discharge from the Navy. There were lots of things to see in Colorado. Jimmy Stewart, born in Denver, Colorado. 1949, Jimmy is about six months old. Then came Syracuse, New York, and television stardom. Here's Emily as Elvira Quigley in Blue Valley Junction. A friendly game of checkers as the band plays on. As my jobs changed, we went from Syracuse to Lansing, Michigan, to Schoolcraft, Michigan, to Ames, Iowa. This is the rental house where we spent one winter in Schoolcraft, Michigan. Nineteen fifty two, Jimmy shows off the house at thirty two thirteen West Street, Ames, Iowa, our very first house to own. And then she was on TV again. Here she is with Tommy in a WI TV production. And along came Pam. Here she is in 1953, about six months old. Here is Pam atop the pink piano that was on the front porch of our house there in Ames. Our camping days began as Tommy, Jimmy, and Pam. The girl is Elizabeth, a young woman who lived with us for a while in Ames. Next up, David Randolph. Born in Ames in 1954. Welcoming their younger brother, Jimmy sneaks a peek at the camera. Nineteen fifty five, four beautiful children. In 1956, we moved to Des Moines, Iowa. This was our house in 326 56th Street, our second house to own. Ron was born in Des Moines in 1956. And now the team is complete. Five beautiful children. From Des Moines to Proctorville, Huntington, 1957, to Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, 1959, and eventually to 132 Oakwood Avenue, 1961 to 1997. We owned a cabin on Conquesting Lake for some time where the children enjoyed swimming and boating. Conquesting Creek, that is.
Emily earned a master's degree at the University of Pittsburgh School of Library Science, became a librarian at Oliver High School. In her spare time, she became an expert at quilting, nationally known. This is Emily's masterpiece, 1976 Bicentennial Quilt. We showed this quilt all over the country in a trip that we took on a sabbatical from library. The family of Ray and Emily Stewart, 1999. 